Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Testifying before the Senate Health Policy Committee, State Surgeon General Dr. Scott Ribkes said COVID vaccine supply isn't meeting the demand. How you convey patients during a pandemic, it's a very difficult conversation to have, and frankly, it's heartbreaking. But senators like Aaron Bean pushed for some sense of a timeline for their constituents. We have to be able to say, uh, we don't have any now, but it's coming. Uh, when's it coming? After taking similar questions from other lawmakers, Ripkey's laid out the current situation. We're getting about 200,000, 250,000 doses a week. At that rate, it would take more than a year to vaccinate the general population, but Ripkey's provided some hope for optimism. This is our path out of the pandemic, and I don't think there's any question that we're going to see a substantial increase in terms of vaccine availability. There's also been complications interpreting the governor's executive order. Some home health care workers report being turned away for vaccinations. Ripkey's made it clear any health care worker in direct contact with patients is eligible to be vaccinated. Committee Chair Manny Diaz says the state needs to do a better job at clarifying that intent. Usually that's, I would expect that that's being handled by the Department of Health because they're on the front line on this. The state has received 1.6 million vaccine doses to date. Of those, more than 600,000 have been administered, leaving about a million doses still in the freezer. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.